It was an historic day for the oil market. The next big thing to watch is, is this going to happen every month? The simplest answer of why we saw these prices plunge so much is that there's just too much oil in the world and not enough demand. So traders and investors who are holding onto these contracts were selling them even at a financial loss, just so they wouldn't have to take on a physical barrel of crude. This market really suffered from twin shocks, one on the demand side and one on the supply side. So the demand side we're witnessing every day. Cities are on lockdown, flights are grounded, less and less people are on the road driving. But the supply side was a bit more geopolitical. This was Saudi Arabia and Russia at an oil price war. They were flooding the market with cheap crude. Though we have had a truce, we've had the biggest supply cut in history from Saudi Arabia, Russia, and some others known as OPEC+. Plus. Negative prices is a really weird concept for the oil market, the first time we've ever seen it, but essentially it means I'm willing to pay you to take my oil. Storage is a main driver of this story and it's running out fast. In the United States, Cushing, Oklahoma is the main hub and Goldman Sachs says it's going to be full by the first week of May. In Europe, we spoke to the world's biggest independent storage company and they say the storage is all but run out. What does this mean for US consumers? Well, cheaper fuel prices. At the pump, it's about $1.80. That's the national average for a gallon of gasoline. For those in the financial markets, the next big thing to watch is, is this going to happen every month when we have a rollover of contracts? Basically, when the financial derivatives world meets the real world of physical oil and storage. But for everyday users, start to watch. If you're on lockdown right now, are you going back to the office at some point? Will you drive? Will you take an Uber? Do you have any flights planned? When the world starts to use oil again, when demand starts to pick up, that's when this market will really turn.